one man, one murloc, one giant angry badger. No borders, no boundaries, no compromise. This is Blue Please. It begins now. Yes, indeed, folks, you're Blue Please here on Wow Radio with myself, Total Biscuit. Welcome to the show, and I have one thing to say. This will be the last of Blue Please. Now, you might want an explanation for that, so I recorded one for you. Here you go. A man once said, All good things must come to an end. What that man failed to mention was that sometimes, if they don't, they cease to be good things. Nothing lasts forever, but sometimes, an old thing, a tired thing, A worn, used, damaged, and battered thing can spawn something greater. A change. A new way. Perhaps that time is now. Perhaps it's time to change the tempo. Prepare yourself. Okay, so we were a little late. At the dawn of the year 2007. Does this look like the dawn to you? Um, at the morning of the year 2007? Look, it's over halfway done already, you blit. Uh, yeah, at the lunchtime of the year 2007. There you go. Oh, they're never gonna see this one coming. They will, unless you stop dancing around like an idiot. It's stealth action! The Kirby dance is not stealth action! Wow's gonna have no idea what hit it. Uh, don't you mean kicked it in the face? Possibly two times? Um, sounds a little extreme to me. I thought you liked living on the edge. But I hate you too. You hate me too? No, 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 no. Oh, I can't win. But there are alternatives to fighting. It's been a long time coming. But good things come to those who wait. Titan. Launches August 5th, 2007, 2100 GMT, 1600 EST, right after Octal and Hordak. Titan, WoW Podcasting moves up a gear, only here on WoW Radio. Get ready. Yes, indeed. Okay, so I was a little late. Well, but in the words of a rather hillbilly StarCraft Marine, Hell, it's about time. Yes, it is. Titan airing next Sunday, straight after Octel and Hordak, following up on everything that's going to be going on at BlizzCon, on HasGone, and will hopefully be awesome, one would hope. Uh, yeah, I'll be brutally honest with you. I'm pretty much done with the solo format. Came back on air to do Blue Police, did like however many episodes. There's actually been 52 episodes of Blue Police put out now. 52. So, you know, a year's worth of Blue Police. You'll see 51 on the podcast stream because, well, there was one episode that I didn't really like. And I like this, you know, kind of going out with a little bit of a bang rather than a 
bleh, like last time. So I'll try and do you a good show, and next week Titan shall be coming on the air with new audio setup, new all this good stuff, new features, and of course co-host Ariana. Right. Okay. Now that you lot of stop being silly in the channel, although I imagine you will be for a very, very long time. This particular episode is going to be about BlizzCon and upcoming content. Now, you have the opportunity to pretty much ask me anything today. This is the last show, so I'm opening it up to you lot. Email me, themurlock at gmail.com. Anything you want me to speculate on, blither about, or rant about as regards to the future content that we hope to see in BlizzCon, feel free, themurlock at gmail.com. Go, go, go. Email me and tell me what you want to hear, and I shall do it for the next hour and a half. Nubcake News is coming up a little bit later on in the show, so you'll just have to be patient and wait for that. I'm going to talk about expansion that is probably coming. Let, let's face it. It's very, very likely that we're going to see an expansion at BlizzCon. Why? Well, as far as I'm concerned, StarCraft II isn't enough to justify an entire convention. Neither is the WoW TCG, as much as I love it. Neither is the WoW board game, which is impossible to play, and good lord, we have tried. It's like... Uh, it's like wading through mud trying to deal with the rule set. It's horrible! It's Then again, we did play it straight after BlizzCon like 3 in the morning and we probably did it wrong, but I won, so that's all that really matters. And we saw Slanik doing very, very evil things to a plastic Lord Kazak. I would imagine that an expansion will come at the BlizzCon. I would be very, very surprised if it didn't. The question is, what are we going to get? Well, everyone's saying Northrend. And while that might be the safe money, I'm going to say no. I am actually going to say no, it's not Northrend. And there's one reason for that, and one reason alone. It's all friggin' ice. The whole bloody lot of it. If you go to WoW Wiki and have a look, Northrend is the frozen wasteland. The frozen tundra, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, well, to be quite honest, I don't fancy 12 zones of ice and snow. Because that's really not all that fun. (laughs) I'm sorry, it's just not that great. Whether or not we'll see Northrend in future, I think it's pretty damn likely. We'll see it maybe as a couple of new zones. As an entire continent? As an entire expansion? No, I find it incredibly unlikely, because how much more snow can you really have? The great thing about the Outlands was the Outlands was very varied. You got into the Outlands, and the first thing you saw was a huge-ass battle. A friggin' huge battle. Yeah, and... What did you see? Pit Lords and fire and demons and ass kicking and all that cool manly stuff that made 300 so awesome if it had big demons and meteors and fire, although ass kicking did come in large, large amounts. Now, then you move on to, of course, Zangamash, lol mushrooms, as we like to call it, and then, of course, the Grand and Terracal Forest, and everything looks different, and then Shadow Moon Valley, which is one of the most depressing zones I've ever seen. It's like the entire zone was crafted out of pure, unadulterated, unfiltered emo. It... I I hate it. It's a horrible zone. But anyway, that's beside the point. I really can't see Northrend being the new continent. I can't see it being an entire expansion. I don't think there's enough there to justify it. It's all bloody ice and snow. And that's not what interests people. I... It will come. It's inevitable it's going to come, because Blizzard seem to be on this binge of killing off their characters. They like it. Let's kill Zul'jin, despite the fact that we thought he was dead anyway. Let's kill Illidan, who was a big crying emo boy, so we don't care. Let's kill Kael'thas, but he's not really dead. See? Haha. <laughs> I feign death. I am Lol Hunter. What else have we got? Kill Lady Vash. Well, Lady Vash was an annoying bint anyway. Kill MacTheridan. Make MacTheridan incredibly easy, because he's weakened by the lasers. Or something to that effect. Yeah, what next? Kill Medivh? <laughs> yeah, whatever. Oh yeah, I can't see it being the new expansion. I really can't. It, it literally is not interesting enough. And therein lies the thing with the expansion. You've got to draw people in. From the get-go, you've got to get people saying this is awesome because that's what hooks them in. If people say that Hellfire Peninsula was an awesome zone when you first go in it, then that means their friends are going to buy it if they were having doubts. It's like, look at this. I'm getting to see all this cool stuff. Look at the Sky Dome. There's like... Two planets and little waves of energy and stuff. Look at this. This is a big stomping demon that's going to own me. It's called a Fell Reaver. Lal. Uh, Fell Reavers. The reason to buy the Burning Crusade. And I'm sorry, if there aren't any Fell Reavers in Northrend, then I don't care. And Frost Reavers, no. I don't want to see a giant stomping 70 foot mecha snowman. It's just not acceptable. So I can't see Northrend being that big expansion area. What can I see being an expansion? Well, 
here's an idea. Maybe it's not just going to be one new continent. Maybe it's not just going to be a lol. Let's go through the portal. Uh, let's have some new stuff that adds everything. I would like to see the expansion remodel a whole bunch of stuff in Azeroth. Azeroth needs some change because it's boring, it's dull, and no one goes there. There's no reason to go there anymore. A dumping Zolaman in a level 20 zone is not going to make people go to the old content. And the old content was quite nice. I would expect, hopefully, to see a major reworking of some of that content. Some new storyline elements brought into it. Like, so what is Nefarian doing these days, anyway? Is Cthon still sitting around being a giant gelatinous eye, or did he go out and get some fresh air? So what about that Kel'Thuzad, eh? Uh, all, all of those cool things. They're still there. It's a problem with the storyline. If you're going to kill off a character, you can't really have it still floating around. Nexramus is still there, everything's still there. I'd like to see something done with it. I would hope the new expansion is going to bring in stuff like Northrend and a remodel old content. Maybe bring in more than one continent. Bring in new zones. There's a whole bunch of blocked off stuff right now that could be quite easily used as new content. Why not? And the question is, of course, is it going to raise the level cap? Well, I would hope not. And the reason I'd hope not is because, well, I'm sorry, but Burning Crusade ain't been out that long. <laughs> It has not been out that long at all. I don't want to see it killed off just yet. No. I don't see that as being remotely acceptable. Burning Crusade has been out for what? Six months max? And are they really going to announce the expansion and then say, well, we're going to reset? Well, you could think about that, but then you could think, of course, about the time it took them to get Blake and Burning Crusade out of the first place. Burning Crusade released in 2007. When was it announced? BlizzCon 2005. August, I seem to recall. So if it takes them that long, then yes. But I would hope that they are not thinking they can bring out an expansion in 2009, you know, early 2009, and hope that people will still be playing the game. If they keep pumping the content, maybe. I mean, what do we see? Let's have a look at the timeline, shall we? The announcement of Burning Crusade in BlizzCon 2005. The content that was coming... Well, the content we got to play was, of course, a little bit of Burning Crusade starting zones for Blood Elves and Anchorage, okay? So, after the announcement, they released two pieces of major content, Anchorage and Nax Ramus. Those are your two major bits of content. Nothing else. No major additions. It did keep people playing, but then again, as far as I'm concerned, there was no impending threat on the horizon. Lord of the Rings Online wasn't out. World of War... Eh, sorry, World of, World of Warhammer. <laughs> Warhammer Online was not being baited. Age of Conan wasn't on the horizon. All of this stuff, which may be pretty damn awesome, was not there threatening people. Their growth was larger than it is right now. I mean, we've had to see, say, 8.5 million players back when the Burning Crusade was launched, and now it's just past 9 million. So we've got 500,000 in about 6 months, give or take. That's not a massive amount of growth. At least it's still growing, but you can see the growth is slowing down and the drop-off is going to happen, even with the announcement of a new expansion. I could see people just saying, OK, right, new expansion coming out. Is there going to be a level cap increase? If they do announce a level cap increase, people are going to go and do exactly what they just did before the release of Burning Crusade. And that's like, screw this content, all my stuff is going to be made useless. So why should I even bother trying? Huh? Why bother? And therein lies the problem. That's why I really don't believe they're going to announce that. If they do announce a level cap increase, they are killing their own game. We saw what happened. If you were in the guilds that fell apart, if you were trying to do the content that no one else wanted to do, if you were in this kind of post-expansion announcement malaise, where people were saying, why bother? And right now, people are a little bit depressed about the content because they've seen that the Black Temple was beaten so easily. They've seen the Uber guilds are taking some time off. And, of course, without the leaders up there, who shall follow? We see that Zolaman is being released, and Zolaman is, of course, a casual instance. So, we've been told the Ten-Man, a lot easier than Tempest Keep, a lot easier than SSC, that kind of thing. So, will they risk announcing a level cap increase? I would hedge my bet as to no. If they're going to announce a new expansion, I can't see them announcing this. Of course, this is all pure speculation. I might be completely wrong. I'd be interested to see how right or wrong I am. Now, I'm going to play a wee bit of music for you. And then, after the break, we shall be going on to your questions, your speculations. What's going on at BlizzCon? 
You're listening to the final Blue Please here on Wild Radio with myself, Total Biscuit. Now, can I find that Sonic the Hedgehog track that I really like? Of course I can. Sonic 3 Scrambled Egg OC Remix coming up right now. My favourite OC Remix track of all time. Enjoy. Enjoy. 